Oh, what's up, weirdos? We're going to play some D&D and uh, try to get into hell because that's the game we're playing. Baldur's Gate, Descent into Avernus. Although I suspect that there will be two more or so episodes until we get there. Depending on how things go, maybe all of them will die and uh, it will be a new group who makes it into hell. <laughs> we'll just see. By the way, I'm Jake. I'll be the dungeon master for this evening and for any future episodes uh let's do a quick recap and then we'll pick up where we left off so this group of players uh was hired by the flaming fist to exterminate the dead three cultists and uh did that went to their lair underground sewer lair and uh, dispatched most of them and uh, started uncovering clues to the disappearance of an entire city, not Baldur's Gate, obviously, but El Terrell, which is kind of like a rival city, um, and uh, met with, uh, went to find Amric Van Thamper, who the Van Thamper family is a patriarch family that's been coming up a lot and uh, met with Amrick Van Thamper at his like gambling den uh, took him hostage and interrogated him in a safe house full of beans all the all the cupboards are stocked with baked lima beans and someone rudely left a bunch of empty and half eaten cans of beans out when they arrived and then Amrick is just a real real jokester um, he's got a real charm to him and <laughs> um, uh, yeah so they're debating what to do with Amrick uh, because they want to go to the Van Thamper Villa and figure out what was happening there they also picked up a hell rider from El Terrell uh, named Rhea who wants to find Thavius Krieg the former overseer hey Rolikos uh, the, the overseer of El Terrell and I think that's pretty much did I miss anything? nope uh, pretty much sums it up Cool, and then uh, we cut off right away. Right, uh, the last thing we cut off with was with a college-age student walking into the safe house, kind of talking to some, presume, presumably talking to some friends, and saying, "All right, guys, before we hit the bars, let's. I'm gonna just grab some of these beans. Uh, I left a half-eaten can here. Just give me a second. And then walked in and saw two Amricks staring at him. And since Amrick is a Van Thamper, a, pa a member of a famous patriarch family, recognized him, and it's a little awkward in there right now. And they gotta decide what to do with this college bro. So, but we open up with the college kid just kind of staring at. I had removed myself to the back room. You left one can of beans open? One, you say, sir? No, no, no. I, I, I'm just... I don't know who left all of these out. I had a couple. Some of them are better than others. Bl They're all the same beans. I have a... I'm a super taster, and some of them are different, believe it or not. And I'm just going to grab one of these half-eaten cans I opened. And this is really... I don't want to know what's happening. Hearing the commotion at this point of sure. the conversation starting, the back room door slams open. Um, you know, You're the asshole that left this place a mess, aren't you? <laughs> I, I only did a little. I just I only did a little. This place is a mess. You're disrespectful, yous. You're going to clean this shit up. You can't leave safe houses like this. God, well, how long have you been in the fence? Are you new here? What's wrong with you? And I just start, like, grabbing by the cuff and start dragging <laughs> him over on, to, like, man. the kitchen area. 
I'm just gonna hit the bars. I'll clean it up. I promise. I'll do it later. You'll clean it up now. Make an intimidation check <laughs> on this shithead. Why do my intimidation checks suck so bad? <laughs> An eight. <laughs> what, just come on, just let me go. I'm gonna, I'll, I'm gonna hit the bars. It's like I can't. I don't You're gonna hit the bars smelling like beans, and I just take one of the open cans and just dump beans on his head. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna. What's your name? I'm gonna report you, Zaj. Ugh, I'm already above you, and just shove him out the front door. Go to the bars. <laughs> And now he's like, no, I gotta change. I gotta... You poured beans on me. Let me in. Go tell Zaj. <laughs> and he... Actually, we maybe should send him to go get Zaj. Anyone? <laughs> Kinda did. <laughs> he's, he's outside, and he stopped knocking, so if you want to grab him, you're, you'll have to yell up and go chase him down. Oh, yeah. that prissy asshole is definitely going right to Zaj to report us. Yeah, no, maybe Zaj will come to us if he knows what's <laughs> good. It's fine. And uh, I forget if you guys knocked Amrick out again, so I'm just going to say that he's knocked out for the moment. Uh, and Well, the place is still a mess, but I'm still really tired, so I'm going to go back to the back before this asshole wakes up again. Are we doing a watch rotation to make sure this dude, nothing happens here? Yes. What's right, I'll the take... order? I'll take first. I'll take second. I'll take third. I'll kill him in the morning. <laughs> Sounds like we got a plan. <laughs> He'd be Great. fully rested for those backhands. So you guys decided <laughs> to not take him as like a... Um, you're just going to use disguise self to work as your get into the villa type of thing? So Probably. Yeah. At the moment, that's, that's, so that's a the short, most promising a short plan. rest. Long rest. I think they're taking Long rest. That's what what I what what my bleeding ass is shooting for. Yeah. <laughs> Out of spell slots, bleeding everywhere. Yeah, yeah I need a long rest. Ego is bleeding. Yeah. Maybe maybe a little bit. <laughs> um, from using my um my background for. Uh, my rumor monger. Um, is that something that I could use? How long would I it take me to find out to use that to find out a little bit about this house we're about to go into? Uh, remind me what it does. Uh, via your personal rumor mill and articles published on Baldur's Mouth, you surmise a great deal about Baldarian secrets. Who's practicing necromancy? Who's involved in spying or smuggling? And who would purchase a craft? Craft or dangerous materials? Um, blah 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 blah. Um, and then I immediately have, so I can also find suspects, 1d4 suspects involved in like some type of crime. Um, so I, yeah, I would say, what's your, what, what number are you in the watch order? Second. Okay. I would say you could do it if you just left during your watch and I'm not encouraging you to do that. I'm just, yeah. um, it would take, you could do that if you wanted to, otherwise you'd have to, since I need less sleep, um, right. If I since I needed less sleep, could I do that before I guess my watch started? Or no, yeah, I guess sure. I still. Uh, well, actually, let's just have you make a. Because uh... I think as an elf, I only need what four hours of sleep, right? Yeah. Of meditation. Um, let's just have you make an intelligence check uh, first, and you might not even need to do it. Okay. Straight intelligence. Yep. Cool. 15. What did you want to... You wanted to know just general facts about Van Thamper Villa? Yeah. Maybe any hidden entrances or just anything that would be beneficial to us doing a, you know, B&E. You don't know of any hidden entrances, but you know... Um, Amrick also said this to you uh, because he's an idiot and... Uh, wasn't really thinking at the moment that there are rounds of guards that um, circle the outside of the mansion. There's an outer wall, and then between the wall, kind of similar to the um, the spa, there's an outer wall, and between the house and the wall is like a yard, and that's where um, 
a few guards patrol. Uh, you also know that uh, Thirstwell, the wonderfully named son of Thalamra, um, sh he is the eldest, I believe, if I'm, my memory serves me. Uh, and he is kind of a shut-in and a bit of a mama's boy. Um, you also know they have a cat, a Tresim cat named, one second, Slobber Chops, <laughs> who uh, likes his snacks. Um, What's a tre is a Tresum cat like a tiger or a Tresum cat is like a house cat, a, a little bit bigger, but can fly, and is much more intelligent than uh, regular cats. They're more intelligent than many humans. Actually, probably more intelligent for, than Kairos and maybe Jerry. That's fair. Uh. What else? But he likes his snacks. Yes, he's rather rotund. Um, so who knows about the flying? Uh, they also have the ability to see invisible things. Oh, good thing I learned that one. Cool. God, I feel like I learned more than this asshole that lives there. <laughs> <laughs> um... But it's like not unreasonable. You know that, you know that she's used the Lammers using the Dead Three for her means to uh, essentially take over the city, and the Dead Three are god evil gods, um, and uh, you were just in a sewer, which was their lair. So it's not unreasonable. She uh, the Lammers also got her position she she started from the bottom and now she's here <laughs> she's up in this area is there is her whole crew there uh, her, there's many people there uh, that are considered part of her gang or group uh just <laughs> it's just like my brain was giving me all the wrong words to not yeah. Um, so she started as like a sewer sweeper and just in charge of the sewer worked her way up and uh, it's very it's it's a, a logical leap to think that she would have something under her house um, but you don't know of any is it is this place, where is the relationship from this place to the, uh, the underground thing we went, the underground dead three under the bathhouse? On the, so so the dead three. Spa. Was on the eastern side of the city, and this is on the western side of the city in the upper city, the, oh, okay, area that Jerry. And Jerry knows where the villa is because they're trained to know all the family members of the of the uh, patriarch system, and they patrol it, and they get all the unwanted people out uh, before nightfall. And Jerry knows where the house is. Jerry, yeah. Cool. Now I was mainly just trying to think if it was connected, but obviously not. It's yeah. I mean, who knows? Sewers across. Sewers go across the entire oh, city. That's true. But it also de enough. not necessarily. It depends where they're dumping. Yeah. Where it could be, um, just all going into the bay. So in that case, it probably wouldn't be. But, um, yeah. Uh, what else? Maybe I should just recap what you guys already know in case you don't remember. Isn't that what you just did? I yeah, feel I like it did, much but everything. there's also like yeah. you remember the imps. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Cool. Oh, we got it. Yeah. Hey, Jerry. Hey, what's up? Hey. Um. You know how they kick everybody out 
in the it was called the upper city at nighttime. Yeah, yeah. If we're with you, will we get kicked out? No. No. No, yeah, you can you can be with me. That's part of the part of the perks. There's a guy named Chad though who gives you a real hard time, Jerry. And like y- you know if he sees you, he's going to give you shit about having these other people with you. Why are Chad's always douchebags? <laughs> it's true in fantasy Chad. realms as well. <laughs> Yeah, we'll just have to keep an eye out for Chad. I would say if we run into Chad, um, we'll just have to pretend that you guys are my, like... Trainees. Disorder- yeah, I was going to say, like, a disorderly gang that I'm, like, taking, taking out. That should time. be easy enough. Yeah. So because we get our... Then we can do a B&E at least at night. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah, you do get your long rest. Uh, I remembered that roller coaster rolled a nat twenty on his tying up job. I think I did. So, yeah. Um, since I'm not taking a watch, I would like to wake up early and go run a quick errand, if I could. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, my errand, I would like to pick up a few things. Are you um, um sneaking out, or are you just leaving? Like, obviously, it's morning. I'm leaving. Not to wake uh, who's up. Yeah, I try not to wake people up. Jerry, I think, is okay. the last person on watch. I just but you don't care if people see you leave? No, no. I'm okay. just, I'll be back in an hour, so I uh, got to pick up a thing or two for uh, that guy in the chair. Sure. Where do you want? What do you want to pick up? I would like to pick up a bucket. Um, <laughs> bucket I would head. Like to pick up a good length of strong, decent leather. You know, good. Just a just a long, like a belt, if you will. Um, <laughs> and I would like to try and catch a rat or two. Sure. Oh. Figure a big city like this might might have a rat <laughs> or two. About a, a is, this, is this is this like the whole you put the rat under the tin and it's under their head? <laughs> Burn it. Uh, a bucket. You find there's one in the safe house. Perfect. Leather. Um, just walking around, thrown out. In like some scrap leather, yeah. Someone's thrown out, yeah. Perfect. Um, and then a rat. Make a, we'll call it a survival check, or w- give me sure. a suggestion if you'd like to. to it would have taken me. I'm great at hunting rats. It's very true. Um, I, I considered it, but I decided to let you <laughs> sleep. I, I really wanted to bring you along, but I figured I was the only one who could wake up early and, and get this sorted. It literally the would have been for roller coasts like, yeah, I'll get you a rat. Walks out <laughs> two seconds later, comes in with a rat. Here you go. Yeah, well, we'll see if that's uh, if that's going to be <laughs> needed back. once they get back. Uh, really upset with just the leather and bucket. Um, I'm catching a rat in the city. I don't particularly have anything to benefit me too much for that. Let me check one thing actually. Well, he's I doing that. Might. Good question. Yeah. Um, for find familiar, can I can can I determine what? Yeah. Like, if I were to do a cat, can I determine what it looks like? Yep. Uh, so I can make it look like the other cat, essentially. Cool. Yeah. Um, so the way I choose to catch my rats is I find a, a nice, gross alley, trash, garbage, dark shadows that will likely have rats. And um, I position myself in front of, like, you know, a, a good choke point, and I touch the ground, and my eyes turn black. And the sound of um, a cat shrieking in, like, deep in the garbage it tries to scare any rats out. And I do that with thaumaturgy. Okay. And uh, uh, then I catch them. That'll help. <laughs> but you still need to make the roll. Survival, right? Yeah. Fifteen. Yep. You get a rat. Sweet. It's, uh, right. it's patchy, furred, and pretty chunky but you have a rat i'll take it that's exactly what i need so i go back and i assume everyone's probably waking up by For now sure. amrick is awake and looking better than he did yesterday and uh he's just mumbling to himself uh not gonna not gonna say anything this they're gonna kill me anyway it's stupid uh, I might kill you, I might not. Um, but what I am going to do, and I just say, I, I got this buddy this morning, and I'm going to put him in the bucket, and I do, as Jarvis was indicating, 
Yes. I put it up against his chest, and as I'm doing it, I'm just doing it very casually, and I just put it up against his chest, and I like use my knee and just brace it against him while I while I loop the leather on him. You know, we met your brother uh, Mortlock down in the sewers. <clears throat> Tie it real tight. He doesn't like you very much, uh, does he? <clears throat> what are you doing? Oh, nothing. Don't mind that, uh, Mortlock. Your brother, right? Yeah, he, the... he is your brother. Yeah. The hideous troll ogre i mean he's he's been through a fight or two but it's a bit harsh you, you you're not so pretty yourself family resemblance being what it is and all that anyway uh he was a good upstanding guy i'd say um yeah. not a big fan of you trying to kill him you you did try to kill him right you did fail to kill him just to let you know no I didn't try to kill him. I wouldn't kill my own brother. You can do an inside check. Yeah, go ahead. Didn't he <laughs> admit to attempting to kill his brother last time we talked to him? 18? Possibly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's lying. Right. Yeah, I don't believe you on that front. Um, Here's the thing. uh, Whore, the Doombringer, you may know of him. He really frowns on betraying family, familial relations. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this bucket here tied to your chest, and I'm going to break that door on the way out so that no one can open it on you know coming back in. No, no college-age assholes will be coming in. You'll have this place all nice to yourself for a long, long while with this rat just hanging out right there, and he's going to get pretty hungry. I think he ate probably some <clears throat> leftover rotting meat in the alley I found him in so he's probably not hungry for a minute I'm just gonna leave him for a little while he's just gonna he's gonna slowly eat your eat your insides out <laughs> and you're gonna you're gonna die no Chances come on are. just why don't you just take me with you I'll get you in the house I'll tell you how to get to I'll get you past guards <laughs> here's the thing so maybe we will take you with you but we we really don't want to go in through the front because I don't want to hear you talk to anyone else. I've already heard way too much of that. <laughs> so we're going to take you the, through, through the back door, but you're going to have to tell us where the back door is. I don't, I don't know where the, I don't know where the back door, but if you don't, if you go through any back door, you're going to, my, my, my brother Thirstwell has a box. It's a uh, infernal. He calls it an infernal puzzle box. And you, you won't get that if, if, See, I just gave you good information. It's it's like something very valuable to my mother and to uh and to and it locks the back door you're saying. That doesn't make any sense. No, it's an infernal puzzle box. It's like it's like and he's not he's motioning behind his back, but he's like it's like it's like as big as two fists put together and it's like magical and and Thavius Krieg had it and now my brother's trying to open it. And just what does that have which, to do with the back door? I don't. But if you, I don't know how to get in, there, there's a you can get in through the house to downstairs. Come on. Which which brother? Real quick, which brother was it that you said had this? Thirst well. Okay, cool. Well, that's uh, that is handy information. I'm about done. I'm not going to wait for this rat. That was all bullshit. Anybody else have any other questions? Is, is it a I mean, bucket? we could speed things up no. if we need, make this hot. It's a wooden bucket. Oh, lame. We need to go get a metal bucket and we can expedite the process. Oh, I can expedite the price of, process, like, right now. Like, real fast. I'm, I I'm mean, going it, to. I mean, it's it, not really a question of I can. It's just, I'm just making sure. Rhea, any, do you have any anything else you need to add? She, uh, she thanks you. She says thank you. He's, what did you mean about Krieg is there, right? He's and uh, without missing a beat, Amber goes, yeah, yeah, he's 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 uh, working with my mom and he's trying to help her do the same thing to Baldur's Gate and he's uh, gonna there's some shield or something that they're talking to and uh, it's it's like gonna help them do the same thing to El Terrell and they're working on it under where in my in my mom's lair. And Rhea goes. 
Krieg wouldn't do that. He's a priest of Helm. And uh, Amrit goes, not even, he might have been, but he, nah, no, no, no way. And um, she's going to make an insight check. And she kind of just stares at him and then is rather, she believes him and is rather upset about it. Not like in a raging upset, but just kind of like her world has started to turn upside down type of thing. Um... I think one of you is breathing into your mic. Probably me. Okay. Um, yeah, and she just kind of goes off into the corner and stops talking to him. And uh, Amrick says, I mean, you're, you're going to need more information if you want to, you know, avoid some problems. Nope, pretty sure we don't. As I flip my dagger into my hand, look to my group, I go... See you now, buddy. And just sink my dagger into his neck. Sure. That's it. He's dead. We did it. Good job, guys. High fives. One less shit, shit in the world. Rhea is not bothered by that at all, uh, but she's still clearly bothered by hearing about the overseer of El Terrell being supposedly being evil. Hey, Ray, you know, you really can't really believe anything he says. It. I think just was, as easy to be a lie as it is to be truth. We'll figure it out. I think uh, he was telling the truth. I mean, I hate to be a dick here, but it would make sense why he left and then the whole city disappeared. I mean, yeah, obviously it makes tons of sense. And, uh, just, trying to be, just trying to be nice here. <clears throat> Not so guys, soul right now. Last night before I went to bed, I got thinking, got in touch with some of my some of my contacts, and I was able to find out a little bit more about the house that he didn't mention to us. Um there's a cat, a uh, Tresem cat. It's the fat cat. Um, he uh, he apparently uh, he may be able to fly. Um, maybe hindered by the fact that he's fat. I don't know. Um, but he can see thing. He can see invisibility. So might be an issue going in there. If we try to be invisible. Might be better to uh, disguise ourselves. But on top of that, it likes snacks. So I was thinking if we can guide the we can guide the cat away with some snacks and make it no longer our problem. I could potentially, you know, how I can do that whole thing with my Are you suggesting spider. we kill the cat? Rhea says. No, 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 not kill the cat. Just get it out of our way for now. I can maybe emulate the cat, kind of like I do with my spider friend. And we can use that to do some reconnaissance if we have to go through the house up, up top. Couldn't, what if we just give the cat snacks maybe it'll help you know, us you know here's the thought the cat is probably fat because he can fly and doesn't get exercise <laughs> side note what were you don't saying let me carry the cat snacks <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay so maybe, anyway he can maybe... fly and he's fat there was there was more i, I stopped listening i just had to wrap my head around that for a little bit I can just uh, try talking to the cat. Mm, that could work. Before we do all Ask this... Ask him what he likes. Should we go see Zaj? Zaj? Yeah, if he hasn't shown up by now. I mean, he's got business to attend to. I doubt he's going to give that probably at the gate time punching of day. People. Exactly, exactly. I mean, he, he did tell us to just kind of go... Uh, Oh wait, we we're leaving a body here, pretty high profile one. Yeah, we should probably and, touch and base. We're about to break into a duke's house. Yeah, it's a, it's a duke. duke who's trying to get rid of the flaming fist, though. So yeah, so it yeah, but he should know what's going on. I all right, all right, we can swing by Zaj and and uh, we got time. We have we're not going until it's more time. Yeah, right? that's a good point. Yeah, we should case the joint though. I yeah, mean, I need to pick up some basic necessities on the way as well. We didn't really find out where it is, but there's another way into this place. Jerry Amber knows really where, seem to know about it, but... where the compound is. Okay. It's not a problem. Right. But like walking through the front door as opposed to walking through not the front door. I mean, 
it sounds like you know I, I did there's one other thing that I learned uh, last night um, she she kind of started out in working as a peasant cleaning sewers and we've been in sewers before and we found the dead three there so I mean there are rumors that there's sewers underneath her house so maybe we can just find an entrance to a sewer nearby and find our way that way we could definitely we got hours to kill in the daytime well Jerry you know the lay of the land the best is there any sewer entrances or anything that runs near her house yeah yeah it's definitely there's sewer entrances sewers. but they're all you know that they're all specifically to prevent this type of thing all the entrances have extremely thick steel bars and... yeah guys uh yeah there are sewer entrances but they're all pretty pretty well uh Secured. thick steel can't get in there I don't know unless you got some magic to get through thick steel. They, are right, they locked so. with a lock or are they they welded shut? They're welded. Mm. All yeah. right. So swing by Zaj. Quick shopping trip for roller coaster arrows, I assume. Yeah. Something of the like. Yeah. And uh, we'll head up to the upper city, get a look at the compound, see what we're dealing with. Sounds like unless we find some new information, we're going in the front door with uh, Jarvis playing the role of Amaric. Everyone on board? And I believe Roz or I could sorry, also Rolico's do it. could also. Yeah. Um we need One two of you people two. to go in. I mean you're gonna have to come up with a with a reason I mean, for if, bringing the rest of us. If we can if we can get in there. as I'm thinking if one of us goes in as Amaric and another of us uh one of the other things that, that I learned is that uh Thirstwell, the brother, is is there quite often. As long as we don't run into him, maybe we can uh, be the two brothers. Well, I was also thinking, you know, Amaric had that that big dude with him. Yeah, it seemed like his his guard. bodyguard was probably used to being seen with him. That'd be a good pair too, yeah, especially I, since uh, that dead. That Thirstwell, uh, he usually stay. He's a shut in, right? He usually yeah. stays compound, so he's probably there. The guards probably know that. That's true. And do we? And we don't even know what he looks like. So how would you? How would you imitate what he looks like? You know what he looks like. Yeah, you but draw it out for us. <laughs> you know, you don't know. Like you have a rough. You maybe have seen him yeah. a couple times, but it's not. It's like very. He's sickly and he's just gaunt, and that's about all you got. All right. All right. Let's uh, let's, let's head out. out. Um, I want to try to like break the lock of the door on the safe house or something like that. Try and make it more difficult for someone to happen to just walk in and see a, sure. a dead Amrick tied to a chair in the middle of the room. I do put the bucket under the chair to catch the blood. Okay. It's considerate of you. Are you leaving the rat in the house? No, I throw it out the window. <laughs> Unless I offer it to Rolico's first. No, I'm good. Okay. It doesn't throw, look healthy. throw it out the window. <laughs> it doesn't look healthy. That's true. Uh, so, y'all want to go shopping? I literally just need arrows. Okay. You can just add, if, if that's ever the case, uh, and it's just arrows, then just buy it, it. for the yeah. price listed, and we'll go with that. Buy it when it's available. Um what else you wanted to case the joint uh stop uh, by zodge zodge, first. zodge. so zodge is sure enough doing the same thing still just as busy maybe even more busy and can he is can barely spare a moment is you guys are talking loud and it's just pushing people and punching people so uh what do you want Oh, just wanted to give you an update. Uh, we have some matter that needs a quick cleanup in this safe house at, and I write down the address sure. for him. Um, <laughs> uh, there's a sensitive corpse <clears throat> that needs a cleanup. Well, it's going to be there for a while because we're too busy to deal with any of this. Well, I broke the lock, so no one should be able to get in. Oh, should be, be fine. It's going to be gross for whoever ends up cleaning it up, but not going to be us, right? Mm. No. Uh, all right, so we're going to go over to uh, Upper City now and uh, take care of some shit. Cool. 
See Might ya. start some shit. All right. Have fun. I bop someone uh, for him <laughs> as my way out. Yeah, the eight-year-old you just punched just uh, falls to the ground. <laughs> Rough time to be an eight-year-old. Poor doesn't have. discriminate. <laughs> he doesn't discriminate. <laughs> He's a very Dennis the Menace looking kid. Yeah, he probably so deserved probably it. deserved it. Yeah. Or is even more on board. I'm doing God's work. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> doing God's work, punching eight year olds. Punch, Doombringer punches eight year olds. <laughs> um, yeah, and so now we go to the upper city. Yeah, so when you get to the gate. Um... Neither of you are disguised now, right? No. no. Okay. We'll Jerry, do that later. Jerry yeah. puts away his flaming fist and more prominently displays his watch. Jerry, should we take our flaming fists off or leave them on your opinion? No. It's fine. Okay. And um, you uh, get them past the guards. They question you real quick, Jerry, and make sure that they're with you. And uh, if you want to ask them any questions, you can, but they let you through. No problem, no issues. Yeah, let's just go. Okay. And um, right to the outside of this place. Um, so it's a has a stone edifice uh, with a stable house to the side. Uh, both buildings have red clay tile roofs. And there's a 12-foot high stone wall around the villa. Um, there are three, uh, gates, uh, wooden gates. And let me know, like, cause I'm, I'm just giving you the, like, if you're standing on the other side of the street from this place type of overview, uh, are there any, do I, do we see any sewer grates near the house? No, no. How tall is the wall outside? Uh, 12 foot, 12 feet high. Are the three gates all on the front-facing side, or are they on different sides? Two are on the front-facing side, the south-facing side, and one is on the north-facing side. Uh, yeah. But as you like... Uh, yeah, go ahead. Any guards outside no. the wall? Okay. Hey, Jerry, how, does, how do uh, patrols here work at nighttime for you guys you guys it's basically like you just um walk around in pairs and you have your districts of the upper city you're assigned to there's usually a more organized effort as the sun is going down to clear people who aren't allowed to be here out um but other than that it's pretty pretty normal yeah the only thing i'll add to that is that i, I only have to do like one patrol a week it's like the minimum and how often on your patrol would you say you would come near or see this estate? Once a night. Oh. Yeah. Because there's okay. more patrols that are obviously in the upper yeah. city, so we're not. We don't need to be worried about like every fifteen minutes. No, no, being caught. no. Okay. Are there any buildings around this compound where we could get a better vantage point? Um, Higher. Let me look. Ooh. Meanwhile, I'd kind of like to, uh, um, bring my familiar back into the picture, stealth, and kind of crawl around the wall just to kind of peek over the top of the wall. So you want a cat? No, right now I'm. I'm. I still have my spider. Uh, I still have my spider, yeah. I'd have to recast. I'm yeah. not redoing my mind familiar yet. Uh, there's no real high areas. You There's buildings around it, but it's... Um, they're uh, all... My stealth is a natural 20 plus 4, by the way. For your uh, spider? spider. Uh, yeah. Where do you want to send it? Um, on top... I guess where we're... I don't want to be obvious. And uh, Where are we What's standing right now across spider, the street? Like, um... Oh, yeah. That's true. It's not. It's, it's not. Um, well, I meant. I. I more meant me standing in one spot, looked, like in, in my spider's eyes. Like I'm gonna look probably a little ridiculous. Um. I mean, if. Like, I assume that they can 
hold your arms and I don't think you'll because you could just close your eyes and sit yeah, down. You'll be fine. <laughs> okay, where I'm at right now won't look like dumb. That's mainly what I was going for. No, no. Okay, cool. I mean, unless unless your compatriots like say, look Man at this guy. You. Yeah, just don't do that. Laying down in the street. Cool. Then I'm gonna do that from right here. Done. And I'm gonna convey to you that I. Not that there's no buildings around here high enough for what I was looking to do. I'm just trying to find and you know, see if your spider buddy can uh, see like if there's any blind spots in the yard where, say, we were to hop the fence, hop the hop the hop the wall. Maybe guards might not notice. Cool. And I can still have conversation. Yep. From critical, I remember he was able to talk to people, right? Yep. Okay. Cool. Uh, he just you can't hear them. Uh, and so your spider climbs the wall. And sure enough, exactly what Amrick told you is occurring. There are uh, six guards, uh, three groups of two, rotating in a counterclockwise manner. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. There are, there are lanterns hanging along the wall's interior that are lit at dusk. Um, so this is the daytime, so they're not lit. Um, how spread apart are these? Um, and I'm also relaying this back to my party as I'm seeing these things. Uh, how far away are the guards from each other? Are they circling the house? Are they staying in the courtyard? Yeah, they're circling the the house. So if we were to call the area between the exterior wall and the house, the courtyard, they're circling the courtyard and they're evenly dispersed. Um... How big is this compound? Like the whole plot of land. If you guys promise not to metagame and are That's willing so to harder. get to get uh, chastised if you do it, obviously, <laughs> uh, I will put the map in Discord. Sounds good? I'm ready. Sure. My body's ready. Yep. Hey. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Cat just made the weirdest noise. What the fuck was that? What are you doing? He's like, you're you not playing picture. the cat right. Did right? you see the picture I posted in Discord? In general, D&D. <laughs> you did get a good baby. one. That's a good one. <laughs> Sorry, I am grabbing the right picture. Burp, burp, burp. I think this is it. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Good to me. So we are the we're on the south side. You said right. You are on. Where's my map? Over here. Yeah, you're. I assumed you went over this with the spider over the south side and um yeah all right so i can go how so how wide are these five foot squares yep and the top left is the stable yes and so if you were to put two guards the three groups of two guards, one group would be near the northern gates, uh, and one group would be kind of near the southwestern portion of the courtyard, but not real close to the gates, and another group. They're just evenly dispersed like that around. Okay. Sure. Cool. Um, so my... I can't... The way... I'm trying to think of how Find Familiar works. I can't obviously move with my spider because I am i can't see through it and move. So I'd have to... Can I leave you it? You can there? move if somebody is... Gui I mean, you can move even mm. without people guiding you. You just won't be able to see or hear. Okay, got it. Um, so... Just pretend you're blind. Yeah, can you... I, I'm able to leave my spider there and then just kind of pull away from it real quick, right? It It's, it's a living creature. It has, like... It can do its own thing if you like after right, okay. there's a range in which you can directly it. influence it and then it can even go beyond that range but you just won't be able to talk to it telepathically 
Gotcha. And, okay. And, uh, it, it will if you tell it to do something and it goes off, it will go try to perform that task. Okay, so I pull back real quick. I'm just gonna tell, basically, have it stay there for a second. Yep. Um, and I pull back to my, I go back to my party. Hey guys, so I see the front. Uh, there's looks like there's a couple, couple doors in the front. Oh no, that's a side view. Yeah, right. a couple gates in the front. You're right. Well, okay. yeah, no, I'm look. Sorry, I was looking at the. I I see two doors. How many doors do I see at the front of the house? Uh, the front of the house has one large door uh you see on the side view that is the front entrance okay cool so um i see the front uh i can't really i can't i can't go too far i can only be within 100 feet of my spider um you guys i can't see and and walk at the same time mind guiding me around the house while i'm kind of walking with the spider yeah weekend of bernie's again and the, the gate on the left on the side view no, is no. the outer gate of the wall. So um, the cutaway there uh, indicates that. I don't think we need to carry him. Just no. Put your hand like on my shoulder. Me. Yeah. <laughs> We're not really weakened at Bernie's. All right. So then I'm going to walk um, uh, in the same... I'm going to walk against the guards. So the guards are going counterclockwise. So I'm going to go clockwise. With the spiders? Yeah. Okay. And us. And, yeah, them. All right, so you're just following on the outside of the gate, right? That's yeah, and I, I'm going to stay on the wall, so I'm going to stay, I'd say I'm going to stay probably about 50 what feet What are you trying so. to find out? I'm just going to scope out, see, like, all the, all the way around the building, what's, you know, possible entrances. Uh, I'm looking for, I'm basically looking for possible entrances and things that, might be beneficial to us for this B and E, or anything that might be bad for us, or if I see the cat or anyone else. Um, you just see uh, the guards, and you see an entrance on the northern side. Uh, it's a smaller door. You see windows that are French windows. What are the paint? But the never mind. I'm not even gonna try. Like stained glass? No, it's not stained glass. They're just clear. Door, and, and they got door the, French, do French doors? Yeah, but they got the wood in between the... It doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. Any of them look like any anything open? Uh, Yeah, there's a few open, yeah. At the ground level? Yeah. All right. Hey, guys. Uh, there's a few open windows. We might be able to go through there. A couple doors, one in the front, one in the back. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we have uh, the two who can look like... I, and I come away from my spider so I can... Sure. Um, af after I relay that first bit. The two who can look like somebody else, you do just that. You guys walk in the front, distract the guards, essentially. I figure we go in through the north gate with the pattern of the guards patrol. Been on a lot of patrols. They're going to stop and see what's up uh, when you make a ruckus at the back gate. But you're allowed in, so you guys will be able to get in. Jerry and I, we're going to hop the wall near the stables. Uh, your distraction at the north gate with the way that they're patrolling, it should cause any delays, allowing us to sneak over to the house and hopefully jump in, meeting you guys after you guys just kind of waltz in uh, through that same door that hopefully we're getting in nearby. Then we're in the house, bing, bang, boom. Huh? Good plan, right? Yeah. Yeah, and I, I can, we, the two of us in the, the one stuff. way can uh, keep constant communication open with you, I, I think. Uh, How far I does that go? Do that. You may be able to. No, at least well, one of us, I can. It's, yeah, you're um, talking about message, right? Yeah, it yeah, works I don't, both ways. Uh, it's only 120 feet, and I think the house is less than 120 feet. So, just to clarify, you guys who are disguising self are going in the north entrance or the south entrance. You guys are going in the front door on the south entrance, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then, and are you? Um, Rollercoaster, are you charismatic at all? Did I know this? Uh, so, you would know if, if you would, yeah, I mean, Jarvis yeah, would. Necessarily. You wouldn't put, you wouldn't obviously put a number on it, but. Yeah. I mean, he talked to Amrick before. Um, I was actually saying we go in through the north gate where there's only a single point of entrance. Yeah, the um, non-disguised like, uh, characters, right? You're going to the north gate? No, saying the disguised guys go in the north gate. Oh, okay. We're going to jump the fence just south of the stables. Oh, okay. So you're going to go through the front use door. The, use their entrance as 
no no one's going in the front door we're staying on the north side of the building not the south side um because the north side has less going on in terms of getting into the house because if they're going counterclockwise they're going around the house this way the guards someone comes in the north gate Americ and and his guard the guards see them they stop we jump in from this side because the guards are distracted right here and cut over to the house. Wouldn't that happen on the front gate too? Technically, yes. But they'll be closer to us after jumping the wall if we're at the north gate. Yeah, and closer to entrances. On that side of Fair the enough. building, there's no windows or anything. There's no uh, contingency plan. On this side of the building, there's a door potential and... Uh, windows possibly cool. yep uh and so you guys are going to stealth while they're distracted right that's the hope <laughs> okay anything do else? we leave and come back at night i mean it's still early yeah we can yeah we definitely that. have to come back at night <laughs> we can skip can't hang out i can't hang out next to the house all day long and be like oh no we're cool <laughs> so you guys want to skip to the nighttime and just go straight yeah. to the okay. Do we leave and then come back? And as we're coming back through into the high in, up here, do we come back disguised already? So uh, I feel like I feel like we open. should deal with the flushing of the guard first, so that they don't see us disguised. Make sure you know, let the guard harass us. Let Jerry talk our way out of it. Once they clear clear the upper city. Boom, that's when we'll just get ice. All right, sounds good. Otherwise, uh, someone might clock Americ, and I don't know what'll happen. And which one of you is Americ, and which one of you is going to be the bodyguard? I'll be the bodyguard if you want to be Americ. Sure. And I'm not. I'm not charismatic well, at what's, all. What's so. our uh, What's our story here? What's the commotion we're raising? Just to get our story straight. Um, you don't necessarily need to raise a commotion. I was probably too strong in my terms of making a distraction. Okay. I think just your presence will be the distraction to a patrolling guardsman. Okay. And once we're in the house, do we want to? We just want. I could tell them there was ruffians on the opposite side. And tell oh them yeah, that go. works great. You, you know what I mean? Tell them there's you know some people that probably mm. shouldn't be outside our wall of this late at night. Yeah, do the that. Opposite that's side. That's a genius idea. You're a, you're a thinker. <laughs> I thought my plan was good, but <laughs> what do we do when there's no one there, and they come looking to see why we told them that? We'll be in the house already, the or house. they'll assume the people left. Okay. Or that. Where their bosses are not going to question us. This is true. Ready? Right. Act the plan. Wait till dusk. So you come back during the evening or at dusk. Evening. Okay. And We're in the area at evening. Sure. Uh, the lanterns. Oh, yeah. Um, just in case, actually, before we go in, do you guys think I should? Do you think it'd be more advantageous to use my spider friend or spend the time to mimic the cat? Spider friend, we need cat treats. Oh yeah, we do need. Cat I assumed treats. you guys already had cat treats. I'm just okay. gonna assume you yeah, don't. Don't you carry those just wherever you go? Yep, yeah, these are my cat treats. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. You, All right, I'll leave. Probably spider. you could probably share a couple, right? I guess, and I'll give <laughs> like, get ready to take a couple out of my bag of like little Ziploc cat treats. I gotta reach for one just to. You want one? You want to try you. it? Yeah, yeah, I kind of. I've never had a cat treat. There you go. What's it taste well, like? I remember if I... To Gross. me, it tastes like savory, like a salmon dinner. It's probably very fishy. Tasting. I just immediately... Uh, um, <laughs> no, just think... no, no, no. <laughs> Don't like that. No. <laughs> Let me try it. <laughs> <laughs> Give him one. Um, also, one more thing before we fast forward and start this plan. Uh, to either... Kairos or Jerry. Uh, I mean, we'll have to take care of the deal with the cat because he'll see you if he's uh, you're invisible, regardless. But would one of you like to be invisible for the next hour? What do you think? You would... 
Yeah, you know, I, I, I could use that probably. That'd be good. How are you guys getting over a 12-foot wall? Well, I figure we can, uh, between the two of us, you know, help the first person pull the second person up, you know. All right. We're, Just making sure there's a plan. We can, we're tough. We're strong. We can make that work. Actually, I could make both of you. Oh, no, I can't. I don't have third. Actually, it might be very difficult for us to coordinate in the dark if one of us is invisible. Like, if I'm up on the fence and he's trying there's to grab some, my uh, arm. Might there's, be. like, a tree next to the stable we can climb up and try to jump. On the outside? Yeah, there's a tree right next to the stable. That's on the inside, though. Oh, you're talking about just the wall to get into the compound? Yeah. Okay. Once we're inside, we might need to hide in the tree. It's good to know that the tree's there. How, uh, real quick, how tall is that? Was that guard? Um, how tall? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to screw this. I'm this, not gonna make you. I'm just gonna. I'm, okay. Don't worry. I'm not gonna be like. <laughs> okay. I am not I didn't that not type. Think this through, sure. and you'd be describe, like. Describe by the way, you're Gary. short. I'm not. I'm, just, I'm not oh, the yeah. type of DM who's going to be like. Uh, <laughs> just look for a loophole to screw you over. Uh, cool. <laughs> if you were a mouse folk trying to turn into a nine foot human man. That's a different story. Cool. Because <laughs> I was like, I'm only six feet tall. This could go badly. Well, I mean, no. I, I think mean, you. I think you have to be within a foot for. Yeah, yeah. within a foot. Something. Like. Oh, you're fine. Yeah. Cool. All right. But also, I'm not that type of. That too. Yeah. I I don't enjoy that. I just thing. wanted to make sure because my old DM would have done that. Fair enough. <laughs> I understand. We all have. One of my first DMs at a gaming store would fart at the table openly, not as a joke. Would just rip farts and just go, "Excuse me." It was the most awkward fucking thing. Ever. <laughs> it was so bad. So Doctor bad. says I I can't hold it in. He didn't even say that. He would just rip them. And I have like, a doctor's note. There was no explanation. It was like, whatever. Um, yeah. So uh, executing plan. Executing plan. So invisibility or no invisibility? We're gonna say save it. Save the okay. invisibility. We might be able to use it once we're inside or something. All right. Okay. Um, Kairos and... Oh. Yeah. Sorry, one more thing. Um, I'm <laughs> Gary, one more thing. Yes. Jarvis. This is the last thing. <laughs> I'm going to cast a, uh, a detect magic ritual before we do this. Okay. Uh, can um, you do that with a... Con isn't disguise self-concentration? I don't think so. Is it? Uh, it doesn't it say it is. Oh. Yeah, no. Only detect magic is. Okay. It does not say concentration in D&D yeah. Beyond, at least. Cool. Uh, sure. You did it. Cool. Uh, Jerry and Kairos, go ahead and make an athletics check with advantage, both of you, because you're both helping each other up the wall. This is not happening happening sequentially. I'm just doing it. We're also trying to be quiet, of course. My athletics is 20. Ooh, 20. Yeah, 20 doesn't mean you automatically succeed. It just means it's the highest you as a character can do on a check. So what was your total score? Um, total score would be 25. Yeah. Twenty-four for me. Okay. Yeah. You guys wow. have Damn. no issues getting up the wall. Then make your stealth checks, uh, not with w any sort of with disadvantage, because nobody questioned the dumb guy's plan. Cool. Who's <laughs> not sneaky? But he's being the sneaky one. Ten. <sighs> God damn it! It's fine. One. <laughs> Well, at least oh, no. me and <laughs> me and anymore. me and Amber can at least know they're being loud. This is going from a B and E to a siege. So if I <laughs> if I hear them, if I do, if I'll tell I, you when you hear them. Yeah, when and I then hear you them, tell I tell me what you do. So let me <laughs> describe <laughs> what's going to happen. Thank Not you. Not if you hear them. Yeah. When you hear them. <laughs> uh, so you guys have your detect magic and disguise selves up, and you enter through the northern gate, which is back gate. And there is one set of guards. Were you guys waiting for the guards to be on 
the sides of the house or more where one set of guards was closer to the gate? Probably more to one set of guards is closer to the gate so we could actually stop them. Okay. Perfect. Uh, yeah, so you enter and the guards nod at you to and say welcome back and uh are you saying anything yeah i'm gonna be like hey well uh would you guys mind doing me a quick favor it looks like the patrol missed some ruffians outside of the wall and i'm gonna point to the opposite end of where our friends are coming from so it'd be the east okay make a uh first of all Doing my best to sound like Americ. Right. Uh, make a persuasion check with advantage. So you're being a dick. <laughs> Ten. Okay. Uh, they kind of look at you and... Not that you would know this, but they're thinking like, why does... Americ wouldn't give a shit about that. Uh... But they go, we'll check it out. And then they start to walk out of the gates, and uh, they step out of the gates, and then you hear as Jerry and er, Jerry and Kairos descend from the wall, you hear, what kind of armor you got there, Kairos? Chainmail. So you hear, uh, and Jerry, what kind of weapon do you have? I have a shield, and I have a javelin and a great axe. So the pointy end of the javelin gets stuck in the chain mail of Kairos as they come down, and Jerry doesn't clear out soon enough, and so there's some clanging, and Kairos is like, why didn't you clear? I'm trying to land. And then Jerry probably says something <laughs> I, awesome. I message as the guards are walking away. I message to uh, Kairos, shut the fuck up. And then I cast... Uh, press the digitation to make a uh, shower of sparks appear, like uh, um, uh, like shark sparks appear near the front uh, the gate on the opposite side of the house. How far <laughs> can you cast that? Uh, oh crap, that is a very good question. Um, it doesn't say. Yes, it does. <laughs> Just kidding, it, it does. does. It's only I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. Never mind. Okay, so uh, anything? So I just cast my message and tell them to sh that they're being loud and shut up. Uh, guards... Tell, Ro tell Rollercoast to lean into the Amrit character more. <laughs> so the guards <laughs> on the southwestern end start rounding the corner and hear the commotion, and they look, and they start going, Hey! And they start charging at you guys. Uh, Jerry, you're the watch. Do the talking! And I just like, hey, hi, hi, what's up, guys? <laughs> and Jerry tries to do like, like a, I don't know, like a, a a fake watch, a fake watch handshake that like doesn't exist, but Make, well, Jerry and a couple people do it. <laughs> uh, so they're coming in an aggressive manner. So use your using your words, make a persuasion. What are you saying? Hey guys, what's up? We're just here doing a doing like a more um thorough inspection we thought we heard something over here i'll be generous so. and i'll give you disadvantage on your persuasion check <laughs> you guys jumping over the freaking walls i am gonna start walking that but way they didn't see us jump over it they heard a bunch of shit and they saw you at the under the under the That's wall so how would the you house, get though. there only two guards saw them yeah disadvantage yeah oh man uh on perception no nope. persuasion and really it's deception or oh, persuasion if five you <laughs> yeah so roll initiative oh shit <clears throat> just the two of us uh no all of you six 19 oh, i guess i'll wait for you to do God, that that's a good one boys i don't know why anyone Not ever bad. tries to roll stealth in dnd &D &D. sometimes it works it works for stealthy people. Not it has for, to work for all four of us, right? No. Not for plus zeros. Just for you two. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it just has to work for you guys. And I'll, also, I don't, like, if somebody rolls a one and it's a group check, I'm not going to make that the, even yeah, though yeah. it kind of makes sense that it would be, 
I'm not going to make that just because of stealth's uh, normal issues. What um what type of if I'm if I've never tried to do this in an actual battle before, if I'm using disguise self, do I have like the weapons that they had on, like similar weapons, or do I like how does that work? I believe with weapons it's just the guy had appearance and clothing. I believe you have your it. normal weapons. Okay. You so don't I don't have, have the guy's weapons at all, like that would have been on him or Not their unless fake. Unless you took them, but okay. I don't think you did. No. Cool. So uh, twenty-five to twenty. Twenty-four. Nice. Was it that twenty? Twenty to fifteen. Nineteen. Fifteen to ten. Eleven. 10 to 5. 6. All right, so Rollercoast, you obviously heard that, and you heard the yelling, and um, you look back. Uh, the guards are still, like, they're looking back between what you told them and then uh, what they heard, and so you reckon... That they're not going to stay out of the fray. Oh, shit. Well, I will... Uh, how far away am I from my party members that just hopped the wall? Like 30, 40 feet. All right. I am going to get as close to them as I can. Ask them... Are we killing these guys? And then just draw my bow and hold my attack until someone responds to me. You're holding a bow attack then? Yeah. Okay. Uh, cool. Kairos? Um, you're, you still look like the big guy. Or you I'm, still look I still like look like Amherst, Amherst. right? Yeah. Um, I just go like, Amor, tell him not to kill us! <laughs> and I bring up my maul and I'll ready an action to uh, hit back if someone comes at me. Okay. Uh, they are going to come back at you, so go ahead and guard one is going to swing at you. That's me? Yes. Nope. That's an eight. Okay. For my attack. Then he is going to, t he has a spear in his hand, and he's going to give you a little poke. That's a six to hit. That's not going to do. And then it's guard two's turn. He's going to go after Jerry with a spear. And that's a seven to hit, so that's not going to work. Uh, Jarvis, you see Jerry and Kairos in combat with two guards. What do you do? And, and the guards have their backs to myself and Rollercoast, right? No, no. Oh, okay. Um, the guards that you sent outside are behind you. Oh. They haven't come back in yet. Okay. Um, but the other two are. But the other two that are fighting them are looking right at me and Rollercoast. I mean, they're looking at Kairos and. Uh, Jerry. I, I guess my point I'm asking is if I were to cast a spell would they see it came from me, my disguise? Like, Could they see me doing it? Yeah, unless you... Okay. Yeah, I mean, your disguise is going to stay the same. It's not going to... Unless it's a no, concentration. No, no, I mean, I, 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 if, not, if, obviously if I if I do something, I'm, I'm they'll realize it's not me. So I was wondering if I can maintain that, but it doesn't sound like it. Um, so uh, I'm going to cast a... I'm going to cast a firebolt at the guard closest to Kairos. Okay. And guard one. As I do it, I'm and as I do it, um, I uh, 23, and yep. as I hit, I'm gonna I'm gonna say, "Oops, sorry, I missed." <laughs> and I'm gonna roll my d10. I five damage. Anything else? Movement? No. no. Um, Rollercoast is still right next to me, right? No, he ran. No. So oh. the three of them are 
in the northwestern part of the courtyard area, and you're closer to the door. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed that. I'm going to go... Um, actually, I'm going to stay right where I'm at. Okay. Jerry? Um, Jerry's just going to go to, uh, throw his javelin at the guard, at one of the guards. I'll say the guard on the right. He's in... He doesn't need... You're going to have disadvantage. He's in melee combat with you. Oh, shoot. Uh, but Okay. But he didn't swing at me, right? No, one of them did. They're both... You guys are right next to each other. Uh, you and okay. Kairos. All right. Well, I'm going to use my axe then. Okay. <laughs> I rolled the exact same for, with the javelin. Um, so I got a 19. Yep. Does it. And I'm just going to be like, well, guess we're killing them. And then I will shoot my attack. Uh, 14 damage. Yeah, you uh, describe how you kill guard two. Ooh, man, I didn't really want to kill him, but... <laughs> you want to do just like... Uh, Unconscious? <laughs> unlethal da or lethal damage? Uh, what do you mean? If I do lethal damage, that doesn't kill him? I mean, the what I'm the opposite is what I meant. Non-lethal. Um, non yeah, non -lethal. I'll just knock Thank him unconscious. Please. He, he uh, let's see... Yeah, I mean, he hits him with the, the flat end like he's been doing a lot, but it just he hits oh. him on the head and it knocks him out. Okay, I'm going to roll to see how long he'll be knocked out. Okay. Anything else? That's it. And Jerry just goes like, ooh, man, when this thing connects. <laughs> Excellent. Guard four and guard three are coming back in the gate. Uh, having heard everything, uh, Rollercoast, go ahead and do your reaction. All right, I'm gonna take my attack and try to like, I don't know. I'm taking this dude out. Guard uh, uh, thirteen. Which guard one? The one standing one. Yeah. Thirteen. Uh, no, eighteen. Oh yeah, that hits. And then it's one of these. Ten damage. Yeah. Are you doing non-lethal damage too, or no? Um, no, it's a bow. I don't think I can. Nah, it's pretty tough. But um, yeah. So guard one's dead, and it's guard four and three, and they're going to attack. Uh, they're going to run past the. So it's Amric with a bow standing next to these guys. And uh, why don't I... I'm going to do this. Yeah, I'm surprised this isn't confusing them at all. Well, that's what I just rolled for. Um, okay. And uh, guard four and three run past Jarvis as the security guard. And they're yelling at uh, Amrick to back away, sir. We've got this. And they're running at uh, yeah, Kairos and Jerry. But didn't they just see Amrit kill one of the guards? They just came in through the gate. Oh, okay. That they were told to go out. And I rolled a one on their... <laughs> <Yes>. So <laughs> okay. they see Amrit with a bow out next to Kairos and Jerry. The thought is they're engaged in combat with two guards. Then there's a guard lying there with an arrow in him. Yes. Yeah, okay. uh, so, they haven't figured that out yet. Yeah, yeah. okay. It's, it's um, all happening curious. very fast. So <laughs> they're running up, <laughs> and uh, they're going to run out of speed, I think. That's the puzzle, Jerry. <laughs> yeah, they're going to run out of speed. They're going to get most of the way there. They'll get there next time. Uh, Javelin time! <laughs> Rollercoast. Shit, I'm gonna say, uh, guys, guys, there was a misunderstanding. These are actually some of my companions. Please don't kill them. And then I will lower my bow. They killed Bill and William. Come on. No, I think well, one of Bill and William, um, he's still alive. I think he just yeah. looks like he's knocked out. I'm going to take a 50-50 shot and be like, Bill's still alive. He's fine. Make a uh, persuasion check with advantage or deception check. Me or Rollercoast? Rollercoast. Well, the first one was good. 21. 
Okay. Yeah, you're good. Uh, they go. We're gonna take care of William and just and they're they're both extremely extremely confused. <laughs> uh, so and they're bending down to their compatriots and they're kind of talking to each other under their breath. You can still hear them because you're close to them, but they're basically just going. What's going on? This is weird. This why? Why is there? Why did he's got an arrow? Oh God, Emmerich! I just want. I mean, to do I know any of these watch you. personally? They're not watch people. They're guards. Oh, okay. They're, they're guards per, of yeah, personal of, guards of the family. Got it. Be like, I, I told you guys to come through the front. I don't know what what you guys were thinking. I just wanted to give you a scare. It's no big deal. Let's just go inside. Yeah, we official start walking towards the front business. door or the back door. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to take my party and walk towards the house. <laughs> okay. So you head in the back door. And we're out of combat for the moment. Let me grab my stuff. It As Jerry a... shuts the door, he just like lowers his voice a little bit and he's like, yeah, official watch business. He lowers uh, his voice, or just says that. Like he 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 goes Deep down things. to a deeper register in his voice to sound more serious. Okay. Uh, it, it was official watch business. Sure. Yes. Sure. Sure. Yeah, let's see what's going on in here. Officially business like. And so you see an eighty-five-year-old butler come up to you guys and go, "Oh, Master Amrick." It is good to have you back. Where where's my mother? I need to speak to her immediately. Uh, she is down and then as he's talking you hear from upstairs you hear Mother Can you make me a sandwich? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> mother, I want a sandwich. Oh, that's pretty convenient. Um, I can bring him up a sandwich. I have one in my bag. <laughs> oh, no. Should we go? Uh, let's go bring. Uh, let's bring your brother a sandwich, Amrick. We should say hi to him. Yeah, we should speak to him. And as well. uh, Fendrick goes, Master Amrick. It isn't. We'll have. We'll, we'll have a uh, gabaret. Just make a quick sandwich for Master Thirstwell. It's not. Oh uh, no, that's okay. Uh, uh, my my colleague here, uh, Kairos. He's gonna. He's going to give him a sandwich with that uh, sharp cheddar, if you know what I'm saying. He's looking, he's giving you a dirty look, Jerry, and then looking at Master Amrak, just being like, guys, guys, just go ahead. You make the sandwich real quick. I'll take it up there because I need to speak to him anyway. Just make it fast. Uh, okay, make a persuasion check with advantage on Fendrick. 18. Yep. So you two are staying downstairs while Kairos and Jerry go upstairs. Is that correct? What's happening? No, no. We're going to. The sandwich is going to be made via one butler or another, and then the, the four of us will go upstairs. Okay. So where are you guys just going to wait? You guys are in the central room, uh, the long one. And yeah. uh, you see Fendrick leave to the right going east enters you see some benches on your map that's the kitchen did, area did he ever tell me where the mother was uh no he said she's she's uh indisposed at the moment working okay you, and, and i i, I Amrick would know that what that means in the basement yeah Amrick would know what yeah. that means but you hmm? yeah i'm gonna assume that's what that means okay as soon as he walks through those doors, it's going, like, I'm not waiting for a sandwich. Let's go upstairs. <laughs> up we go. We head upstairs. Okay. You head up the stairs. Following the uh, very whiny voice calling out. Yep. What are we going to do to the sickly brother? Are we taking him out? No, I, I, I want to know what an imp looks like. 
been it's been killing me for like two years. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> and it kind of makes me we just want to <laughs> just never have Cairo see an imp. He'll have see, we seen? He'll see crazy ass greater devils and shit in this adventure, but like never an imp. <laughs> Every once in a while, out of the corner of my eye. Uh, well, my, with my perception perception rules, what they are historically in D anD D, that is exactly what will happen. So we're fine. Uh, I, also, I rolled a um, seventeen on perception. I'm going to keep an eye out for the Tresum cat. Okay, yeah, he's at the top of the stairs. Oh, okay, uh, and he's Perfect. on his back, uh, half asleep, and kind of opens eyes are like barely open and then when you guys come up opens them a little more and gets to his feet slobber chops and he goes up to uh rollercos and uh is there a tabaxi language not that i know of it says you know like common okay that was common was the only everything else came from i have like You're definitely... jerry, jerry cast speak to animals and just starts talking to him. Okay. Like, hey. uh, Rollercos, you already know he wants snacks. Like, it's... Yeah, I'll give him a treat. And, uh... One second. Dave? Uh, yeah, he happily accepts the snack and starts rubbing his head on your leg. I'm um, gotta look this up. And he doesn't seem bothered by um, doesn't oh doesn't have can just detect invisibility okay I had that wrong but um, yeah it doesn't seem bothered by you guys in any way especially now that you've given him uh, a treat some d delicious high quality cat treats and it definitely has an intelligence to it more than any other normal cat you've seen. Other than myself. Correct, correct. So, he's just, uh, yeah, what are you guys gonna do with the cat? You're just gonna... I mean, Jerry's trying to talk to it. What do you hey, say, Jerry? I walked past it. How's it going? What's your name? And that... My name's Jerry. That spell, what does it allow you to... It, can you sense, like, their emotions, or... No, it's just speak to animals. It's not, uh, uh, sorry. So I have, it's not beast sense. I'm doing speak, speak with animals. What is that? Is yeah. Gain the ability to comprehend verbally communicate with beasts for the duration, which is 10 minutes. Slobber chop just goes, I just want, I just want snacks. <laughs> what do you have a name? Slobber chops. Oh, Hey, I'm Jerry. Hey Jerry, you got any snacks, Jer? Uh, Jerry fishes out like a cracker. He's got in his cloak. Oh uh, yeah, is this uh, is this uh, fella? He tries. Jerry tries to throw the cracker in the cat's mouth as he's talking. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, is this fella? Uh, is this fella right here got any more snacks, or uh, are you guys visiting that? Uh... Hey, Rollercoaster, do you have any more snacks? I'll give him two more treats. Oh, hell yeah. Thank you so much. Are you guys in here? What are you guys looking for in here? We're looking for the Mrs. Van Thamper. Is she in the basement? Oh, yeah. Um, she's in the basement. Uh, Anyone else down there with her? Oh, yeah. There's plenty of people down there. There's also like uh, Thirstwell up here. And uh, playing with that uh, puzzle box thing. So... Uh, How many people are in the basement? I don't know. I don't go down there too often. So uh, there's that uh, weird guy. They brought a shield <laughs> in. Uh, there's that ugly guy. Can I or can I not understand this? Uh, so I'm just making a call on this because the language is a trust and knows common, understand, understands common, but can't speak. And since Jerry casts a spell, he's getting okay. the speak ability. So 
you just know that they're having a little conversation. Meow, 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 meow. Um, I'll just reiterate. Yeah, he says he's confirming a lot of the information that we already know. Hey, do you uh, mind if I hang around with you guys just to... Uh, you yeah, know, that'd be great. You guys got some good and, um, snacks here. <laughs> yeah, he's saying that uh, that uh, the brother is playing with the puzzle box. Like, we already knew that. What are you guys here for? Are you just trying to... And you, also, he's going to from ki- Chicago. <laughs> are you guys going to kill uh, the Lambra? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I don't really care too much. Uh, she I seems think like so. a you bit seem of like a... a pretty chill cat. Yeah, I appreciate that, Jared. Uh, so yeah, uh, she's a she's into worshiping devils and stuff like that. I ain't about that. I'm I'm looking to uh, just go where the snacks are. You know what I mean? <laughs> Well, if a devil had snacks, would you worship the devil then? Are there any strings attached? Uh, probably, it... yeah. Well, then I probably wouldn't. Oh, so it has a limit to your snack snacking. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, you can totally hang out with us. We got. I mean, hey guys, is it okay if uh, uh, Slobber Chops hangs out with us? Does he seem cool? He's really chill. I like him a lot. He's. Uh, almost my best friend already. Also, if there's any, <laughs> almost my best friend. Also, uh, if there's any uh, invisible characters hanging around, I can, I know, I can see them. Is what I'm telling you. I, I nice. know they're there. It says that there is some number of people down the basement. Not really sure. Can you ask him? None if of them had any true. snacks, so he didn't pay attention. Can you ask him if it's true that he can fly? Hey, uh, my friends want to know if you can fly, slobber chops. I mean, he has wings. Like they're on, oh. they're big wings. Uh, but asking him that, anyways, uh, because of his weight, is that why you're asking? Yeah. Okay. He goes. He goes. Uh, he goes. Well, I could, but I don't really like to. It's. I mean, I can't remember the last time I flew. You know, a lot of a lot of us like to fly. I don't. I never really got it. If you could uh, get in good with. Anyone really, they'll take you anywhere. And uh, as long as you keep your eye out on stuff, you know, detect poisons, and uh, <laughs> yeah, they'll just give you all the snacks you want. So, uh, are you going to take that uh, puzzle box from old Thirstwell? He's a bit of a a bit of a prick, if I do say so myself. He's asking if we're going to take the puzzle box from from Thursday. It's cool with me. I don't have a. I mean, Jerry, that's that's the bad guy's cat. You know that, right? Like you're basically talking to Jarvis's version of his spider, only smarter. I I mean, we shouldn't really be giving him our plans, man. And he seems really chill. He's just so easy to talk to. Slobber chop. Unless you're using a different language, I assume it's common. Uh, Tresum Tresums understand common, and Slobber chops goes. Oh no! Like I have no allegiances to the Lambra. She's a, an asshole. Uh, I stick around for the snacks. Listen, I am like if you guys cut off the snacks and are like real mean to me, then bye bye. But <laughs> keep giving snacks. I mean, I have no idea that he can understand me, and nor do I know his side of the conversation with Jerry, so I just continue sure, <laughs> being sure, sure. like, I mean, yeah, Jerry, obviously I'm going to take the box from him. I'm probably going to kill him, but... Oh, yeah, please kill him. Please tell the <laughs> the large one to kill him. All right, let's go. Let's go do it. I think I think we, we're good. He's going to hang out with us, and yeah. <laughs> He's okay with this? Yeah, he seems real chill. He's... Pretty, I, I don't care how guy. chill he is. He's okay with us doing what we're doing. Well, that you've you told know, him all this. You, you think the cat like is super relaxed and not at all on end, on edge. Yeah, and not thinking you guys are. I mean, he's he loves you because you gave him the snacks. Like he's still like you and Jerry are just. There's the really no doubt in your mind that this cat. Uh, We've bonded. Has anything in the house since I cast Detect Magic right before that fight? I assume it hasn't been 10 minutes yet. Um, is there anything in the house pinging of magic so far that we've walked past? Um, let me look. Within... 
I guess, 30 feet of me from where I walked? Uh, no. Not currently. Cool. Well, we continue to head over to the, uh... Mother! The ...room. Somebody should probably stand outside the door and make sure, uh... Fendrick doesn't come back with that sandwich and walk in and interrupt us. I'm actually going to come in the room with you guys, and I'm going to leave my spider on the wall outside in the on the uh, stairwell. Uh, Jerry, I'm like I'm cool with this. Do you want Do you want me to just I can watch for you for you guys? Is that something you want me to do or? Uh, no, I, I think you should just stay with us. Yeah. Okay, I'll come. You in already got it. this little familiar watching out for us. Okay. Okay. And if I see, as soon as I see anything heading my direction to the spider, I would cast, I would come out of it and cast my spider back so it can't get killed. Yeah, he would, your spider would telepathically tell you, like, someone's coming, mm. uh, stuff like that. And, uh, 20 on stealth. Okay, you're stealthing at the top of the stairs now. Stealth, the spider. Oh, the spider. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Or, sorry, 22, not 20. I forgot it's plus four. So... As you enter this room, which is in the southwestern portion of that second floor on the map, okay. uh, you see, standing in the middle of the room, uh, a frail, hateful-looking 42-year-old man clutching a box about this big, like, what is that, eight inches? Uh, and... Um, sees you, and who's the first one in? Probably me. Oh, you? gonna, You're going in first? As, as soon as he sees you, he's going to cast Sacred Flame on you, and then we'll roll initiative. Great. Cool. Wow, that was, that was quick. Going the direction I want it to go. I mean, I was going to talk to him before killing him, but... He goes, oh first. my! I can kill him first. Oh. That's garbage. Make a dexterity saving throw for Sacred Flame there. Uh, yeah, no, I failed. It's a three. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's six radiant damage. And you lit up. And I get lit up. Oh, boy. Okay. Wait. That is that. Oh, you're still disguised, Rolicos. Yeah, you probably should have gone in first. I see yeah, why you're was... getting that now. <laughs> I was wondering why that happened. 25 to 20? Like the ranger going in first. That's ridiculous. Uh, 18. 20. Uh, 25 to 20. Oh, sorry, so... 25 to 20. Never mind. Uh, Kairos is at 20. 20. Not paying attention, clearly. Uh, 20 to 15? 18. 15. Where, what'd you get there, Rollercoast? 10. Cool. Kairos, uh, you see this man... So he was standing in the middle of the room and then he ran behind like next to his bed and he's kind of crouching hiding um i walk in and i just as i'm walking towards him I'm like "Ooh, you're gonna regret that and i uh grab him i'm gonna attempt to grapple him okay make a athletics 22 okay yeah i'm not even gonna roll for him because uh because he's, he's weak and sickly. He can't. Oh, if he gets a natural 20. Nope. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you got him. Congrats. So I pull him up and I, I, I <laughs> probably have a little bit more movement left. So I pull him back out into the center of the room and kind of turn him. So he's in between. You know, my party's behind him and I'm in front of him. When you pull him up in the air, he uh, he had tucked, tried to tuck the puzzle box in, in inside of his, like, robe, and it falls out and lands on the bed. Uh, and you have him in the middle of the room. Um, I mean, that's that'll be my turn. Okay. I spoke as I approached him, and I yanked him up into the middle Jarvis. of the room. 
So since I didn't make it into the room yet, I wouldn't have sent my spider out. Um, I, I cast Mage Hand, and do I, I assume I see I saw the puzzle as I'm entering the room, right? Sure. You're ball. in the room now, though, right? Okay. Per yep. So I I use I I use Mage Hand, and I kind of just pocket the puzzle. It's very magical. Cool. But it's like nothing you've ever seen. It's like from the interior. There's a lot of magic. Cool. And uh, that's all you're gonna do. Uh, yep. Okay, Jerry. Anything else in the room pinging a magic, or is that it? Let me check. Uh, Slabber Chops goes. Uh, by the way, there's an imp in the corner, looking very angry, invisible. Jerry, you hear this? Was it ten minutes your beast speak with animals is? Yeah. Yeah, you hear this, and you can relay it. Hey, Kairos, um, Slobber Chop says there's an imp who's invisible in the corner. Which corner? Back, the back corner behind, uh, behind uh, Thirstwell. I'm gonna spin around and look at it. First chance I get, but it's not my turn. And then I just go up to uh, Thirstwell and I try to break his thumb. Oh, these gods aren't worth the money we pay them. This is... What's mother? <laughs> and... That's it. That's all I'm going to try to do. Yeah, you break his finger and he goes, Oh! Why? Yeah, try to do a puzzle box now. You little weenie. You're a mean, mean man. <laughs> And, um, yeah, that's your turn. Uh, the, the, uh, the detect magic. There's a chest in, yeah, there's a chest in the room and there's some, it's padlocked. You think there's some magic in there? Cool. Very faint, though. Uh, that was Jerry Rollercoast. What school of magic was it? I think Detect Magic tells me that, right? Yeah, it does. It is off the top of my head. Um, I believe it would be. You know what? Health potion. It's like evocation. Okay, and what, um, I should have asked this earlier, what School of Magic was the, the puzzle box that I grabbed? Uh, a bunch of different shit. So there's <laughs> abjuration, there's divination, there's uh, enchantment. It's a bunch of, it's a mix of colors. Cool. Dope. Thank you. All right, I am going to take my first attack and then my dread ambusher attack to attempt to shoot the invisible imp in the corner. Yeah, it's with uh, disadvantage. Yeah. 11 and a 10. 10 plus 7, 17. Yep, hits. Perfect. That's 7 plus 3, so 10 damage. Yeah, you pin it to the corner of the room. It's dead. It comes from invisib out of invisibility, and it's just perfect. Just pinned in the corner of the room. You see it now, Kairos. <laughs> An imp. Yes, you killed Rambo. Oh my <laughs> finger, Rambo. <laughs> what do you know about the puzzle box? I can't get it open. That's all I know. Where did you get it? Thavius Krieg brought it. Let me get turn to the right page. Um, they're just Thavius brought it when he arrived in the city a few days ago with, and uh, they, my mother insisted that Thavius let the family safeguard the item while he studies the shield. Um, yeah, anything? Okay. And you guys asked, like, where Mother was already? Or was that... Yeah. Uh, so he goes, Mother and the Duke, 
that's Thavius Krieg. They're in the uh, dungeon trying to research this shield. My brothers recently stole the shield of the Hidden Lord. Oh, my finger. If you know she's in the dungeon, why are you yelling for a sandwich? Because it's what's it's what gets the servants to give me a sandwich the quickest. And uh, he goes, so uh, my mother and the former high overseer, Krieg, are plotting to seize control of Baldur's Gate. Um, This dude is just flowing with information. There's like some (laughs) devil in the shield named, my finger, there's some devil in the shield named Gargouth. Whoa, did you, are you? Are you pissing yourself right now? Oh, God. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Hold him farther away. I mean, you didn't smell much different than you do now before then. Did you say his name was Gargoth? Yeah, G A R G A U T H. It's pow- the it's powerful devil, Krieg said, named Gargoth trapped in the shield and has v- vowed to help us uh, conquer Baldur's Gate if we release him. Uh, the High Overseer is confident that he can devise a way to release the devil from the shield. Uh, my finger hurts. Yeah, we should go stop that immediately. Yeah, let's stop that immediately. We don't have much more time to waste. Um, so, buddy, uh, Thirstwell, the thing is, Hor frowns on betraying your family, and we ran into Mortlock, and you're a piece of shit. And I, uh, drop him, pull out my morning star, and just bash him in the face. Oh. <laughs> yeah, making a, an attack roll that settles that <laughs> might not uh, 12 Yep. good you want to see what he looks like sure no, he, yeah. what he used to look like before you did that right he's going to look a little different now I really like this art oh won't let me do it Astrid I'll try this that's 11 points of damage. Yeah, it's, uh, I didn't even ask cool. because he's got so few. Perfect. I'm trying to get the mic to pick up my cat's purring for roller coaster right now, but I don't know. You if should it's record working. it and like have it on a soundboard or something. Oh, yeah. No, he didn't make it. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this guy. Man, even the way his face broke sounded wimpy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you heard when when that happened. You heard like, uh, <laughs> just deflated. It's like somebody smashed like a accordion or a. It's just terrible. Um, yeah. So the chest you want to look yep. at. Um, yeah, I'm gonna actually since uh, Kairos made this easy for me, I'm actually gonna search his body looking for a key to the chest. You find it. Uh, I'm not going to make you do any rolls. Uh, you open the chest, and there is... Red wax candles. Some wrinkled garments. Quills. Blank sheets of parchment and jars of ink. Uh... There's also a, a wooden coffer inside with 73 gold pieces, 120 silver, and a potion of healing. Well, how much silver? 123? 120. 120. Jerry just goes, uh, hey, do you guys mind if I take this uh, this inkwell and some of this paper? Yeah, I've added is, That's yes. fine. is the only thing pinging magic the health potion? Yep. And you said it's just regular health potion? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I've already got one of these. Anyone? Anyone down a health potion? I got none. Hand, okay. I handed it. <coughs> There's also a black tome with the title Apocalypto. It doesn't say by Mel Gibson. Oh no! I don't have any potions left. Um, Jerry, can you still talk to the cat? Yep. Uh, let me try. Hey. Cat, can you still understand me? Hey, Jer. Ask ask him if he knows if there's any like if there's like a vault or anywhere where they keep you know like money. Probably. Is there a vault anywhere where the the Van Thampers keep their cash? 
Uh, well, I think Thalambra keeps, uh, she's got like a chest or something in her room up here, but there's a, a helmed horror guarding it. Uh, and then, uh, I would assume down in the sewer basement area, <clears throat> there's some stuff like that. Yeah, he says that there's a uh, chest in, uh, Thalambra's bedroom, but it's guarded by some sort of monster. He and, told you uh, the name. I'm, yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, I if you don't remember. want to say it, that's fine. I don't remember. <laughs> Helmed Horror? Helmed Horror. Um, and then there's probably some more stuff in the basement. I flick him a cat treat as like oh. a tip. Tell, tell Rolikos he's a, he's a good... You know, you gotta stay close to your roots, and he just keeps going on about uh, <laughs> how great it is uh, while he eats. Anything Excuse else? my stupidity, but what is a black... What do you call a black tome? Yeah, like a black book. Oh, got it. Um, it's just like a storybook, or... So you, it's like um, very poetic, and you start reading it, and it says things like... Um, <laughs> It says things like uh, the multiverse will end with death and dreary blackness and just it's essentially about uh, it's prophetic to the end of the multiverse. So it's fictional? <laughs> Seems like these guys believe it. Or like a, manif like a manifesto type thing? Or you like... don't know who the author is. It's like you don't I mean you it's just like Poetic prophecy envisioning oh, okay. the end of the multiverse. Got it. I believe okay. the book club of Baldur's Gate is discussing it on Thursday. Um, if you want Got to it. read up by nope, then. Nope, I don't and... want this book. Nope, I don't <laughs> want it. I was just, I, I wasn't sure if it was like a manifesto with some plan or some <laughs> shit in it. Nope, don't want it. Okay. They'll be discussing the. So the only thing I take, I take the gold, the, the silver. <laughs> I take the gold, I take the silver, and then I give the potion of healing to either Kairos or Rollercoast. So you guys can fight over it. Kairos, you can take it. I already put it in my inventory. So <laughs> I assume he'll take that and then heal me in return. So what oh, now? Oh, yeah. I mean, maybe. You, I could uh, Dave, you can healing, you know? leave when you need to. Uh, just take Oh, off. thanks. Yeah, I'm just adding my equipment and then, yeah. Anything else? Yeah, so uh, to the basement, I believe, is where we need to go. Unless yes. unless you want to take a crack at the Lambert's chest. It sounds like there's a monster. Uh, I, don't know. I don't know what a helmed horror is. We can always come we back for that. that all the time limit. Yeah. I don't know, unless we come back and the room's not there anymore because, you know, it got sucked into another universe. Kairos. Or a little or busy Brian. fighting a demon. <laughs> yeah. All right. But yeah, no, let's, uh, it's far more important that we go to the basement. We should go to the basement. Yeah. We should also stop and tell Fendrick that uh, Thirstwell does not need a sandwich. He would be probably pretty upset if he walked into the room after we've left with that. And then just point to, you know, Slobber the Slobberchop says to uh, <laughs> Jerry, like, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, he'll probably be coming up any time now. You could just say to him, like, hey, get lost, old man. He's sleeping. Yeah, Slobber Slobberchop is saying we could just tell the butler to get lost. Yeah, we should do that on the way down. Uh, yeah. Sit down. And I, I will exit the room first, so I'm the first one to run into him. That's a good idea. Uh, he's coming up the stairs uh, with a sandwich in hand as you guys Emmerich exit. should totally eat it. I am going to take the sandwich. <laughs> be like, uh, I'm going to tell him, piss off, old man. He's changed his mind. He'll call for you if he wants one. He seems a lot more receptive because you're treating him in a shitty manner. And that fits more with Amric. Yeah. And uh, he does go away. And you have a sandwich. And it is a butter sandwich. It's bread. Smashed between butter. And you think the butter's a little curdled, like gone bad a little bit? I'm going to, like, just lean it to the cat and see if he, like, he's like, yeah, or no. No. He does no. not. It's very clear. The body language is no. Yeah. What, whatever the next, like, I don't know, anywhere I could place this plate so that I don't make <laughs> I like a large sound like you guys are sound, you're like, going through this house it. killing things and, like, and then, like, Rollercoast is like, I don't know where to put this. I just want to be polite and leave <laughs> well, it somewhere. It's not polite. It's I don't want to make more noise. 
So okay. I'm like, yeah. where can I set this quietly? Yeah, like, you can set it anywhere quietly. Yeah, right. just like, I want to wait for the butler to go away first. Oh, like, he's already like, gone. Yeah, cool. Set it on the ground. Cool. Onward. And uh, we'll pick up <laughs> next week with you guys entering the basement. Sounds good. Kairos with a plate in hand eating a butter sandwich. <laughs> Slightly curdled. Perfect. Got picked up as soon as Rolico's put it down. <laughs> Two steps later, I'm like, oh, no. no yeah, you start eating it, and it's you can choose whether you like it or not, but you definitely get the thought <laughs> that, like... It's questionable. No, that's up to you, but you definitely get the thought that this come, crosses your, your mind. I like... Do I like the same? Do I want to like the same sandwich that Thirstwell likes? And you kind of start <laughs> pondering that, um, and you can decide how to role play that next week. But anyways, thanks for watching or listening. If you are doing so, I am Jake Friday. You can find me on Twitter at Jake Friday. Follow Venture Ventures on Twitter and Instagram at Venture Ventures. Uh, you guys have anything you want to plug? Any nothing? Nope. The nope. Uh, the new flavor of Oreos, the pistachio Oreos, are very good. I mean, they are. Oh okay. yeah, the pistachio thin thins. I yeah. came through a package of those in no time. Flat. We've gone we, through many. We can't buy them in our house. <laughs> I didn't try it when I was there, Dave. I should have. Verboten. I was also yeah. sitting next to the one who's deathly allergic to tree nuts, so I was <laughs> mindful of that. Uh. Yeah, cool. Next week, we'll leave it at that and just get at get the heck out of here. Uh, be excellent to others. Be excellent to yourself, and uh, enjoy Thanksgiving and however you're doing it. Amen.